as am I. The Bible explains why we're guilty. Romans 6.23. Number 3.23 says we all sin. But 6.23 says something powerful. It talks about the penalty you get for your guilty. The wages or the penalty of sin is what? Yeah. Seems pretty harsh, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That's not talking about just a physical death. That's right. It's talking about hell. Amen. Eternal separation Amen. from God. Amen. That's right. Going to a place where you can see heaven and can't go. <laughs> Going to a place where you're in agony and torment. Going to a place where you'd cry out. One of the lowest of the lows as you view them in the earth to dip their finger in some water and put it in your mouth. Going to a place where you're crying out every day of your life to your family who cannot hear you saying, don't go here. You don't want to come here. It's really bad. Being in torment for eternity. I love the but in Romans 6.23. And I've heard the pastor say, we need to get our butts out of the way. God has a butt too. His butt really matters. I'm not trying to be funny with that, but His butt really matters because it cancels out everything behind what I just said. Amen. Right. Amen. For the ways of sin is death. Yes. Comma, but. Yes. Right. There's a gift. That's right. The gift of God gift. is eternal life through Jesus Christ Thank our Lord. You, Jesus. Thank you. See, without Him, we would be standing guilty. That's right. But the funny thing about that, what happens is this. As we stand there, and the great judge says, how do you plead? Our hands will be up, all right. And we'll be forming that gene. But before we can say guilty, someone stands in front of us Amen. and holds his arms out and he says, Go, they're not guilty. I already paid the price. Amen. And the judge looks right at you, looks you in the eye and says, My son, my daughter, my child, you are acquitted. You're pardoned. Because in my eyes, you're perfect. Amen. You are sinless, you are spotless, and you are washed white in snow. Enter in, my good and faithful servant, Amen. to your eternal paradise that I've been preparing for you before you were ever thought of, imagined, or formed in your mother's womb. Now, my friends, that's a definition of grace. Amen. See, to get what we deserve, because we've all sinned, is just what the first half of Romans 6.23 says. The wage of sin is death. That's what we deserve. But the last half is what we don't deserve. That free gift of God being eternal life. We don't deserve that at all. Because we've already established through the Scriptures, no, not one good. We've all sinned. We know that. There's a bunch of bad news that's called hell. It's worse than the bad news of earth. The bad news on CNN and Fox. It's way worse than that. Yes. It's for eternal. It's not just yes. temporary. That's right. You talk about a plane gone down and lost. These are people lost. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. People lost. Mm -hmm. But oh my friend, when the angels...